What's going on, everyone? It's DB, and I'm back in Roblox Islands for a new update. We got a new update today. That's right. That's right. So we just got like two updates last week. We got really lucky with so many updates. So last week we got the oil update, obviously. And then we got Doug, and we're able to sell oil to the vendors now. If you missed that update, definitely check out my video that describes everything about the oil update. On top of that, they fixed a bunch of bugs. They kept adding and adding. So if you remember, we actually got these as well. So this is actually one of the oil deeds. If you don't watch that video, I will link that as well. So if you're missing out on some updates because you feel like you're a little bit behind, those two videos videos will get you caught up. So today we actually got some more updates, which is awesome. So check this out. So we're going to come over here and I'm going to show you what's new in this update. So the first big thing, this is like the focus of the update. Although I don't think this is like the best thing of the update, even though it's one of the coolest looking, I don't think it's the best or most useful. So we actually got a tier two vending machine, which is really cool looking. Look at it. So not only does it look visually better than the old one, because the old one was just, I mean, this is classic, right? This is the classic vending machine. And this is the updated version. You can see it's got similar UI. So it's not like anything different here. It's a little tighter. It's a little easier to see stuff. So it's a little higher. You can see, you know, this is the, the display of this one, but this one's higher up. So if you have blocks in front of it, it's not going to block them. Whereas the old blocks used to be like right here and it'd be very easy to block it on accident. So the other thing that I really like about it is uh, check this alignment. Check out this alignment here. So you can see this one's actually lined up perfectly on the squares as they should be. I mean, you still have this, right? So you still have it where it's actually taking three spaces, but it's perfectly aligned on this side. Whereas the old one, even like if you put a block behind it, it's nice and flush and a little bit of a gap there, but it's perfectly fit. Whereas this one was always a little weird because it kind of clipped into it. It's just a little bit different. It's definitely cleaner. I'm sure they're going to come back eventually and update this. I don't know if they will ever do that, but it'd be cool if they did. Cause I mean, it would just be basically just different colors, right? And what this is, is so it's not just a visual improvement. Of course, there's going to be some functional improvements. And what the functional improvements are is that you can actually fit 1000 items in here, unlike 300 in this. If if you have like a lot of something like maybe you've got a thousand wood or even just want to buy a bunch of something you now don't have to have like a million vending machines on your island right you can just put a one single vending machine that would cover the equivalent of three and a half of these just about not quite three and a half but just a little under that so you know that's a that's a huge island save plus loading times lag and all that kind of stuff that's where this thing comes in on top of that you have a reduced commission or tax so if you have a million right here you can see you're, you're gonna get nine hundred and thirty thousand, and the customer is gonna pay a million but you're gonna get nine hundred thirty thousand that versus the old version if i were to do that here and put a million in you would have gotten only nine hundred thousand, and the customer paid a million so this is where it's really important is when you start getting into the millions but imagine if you were doing something that's maybe worth like 50 million this is where things really get nice for this vending machine because customer is going to pay 50 million you're going to get 46.5 million right again way better from a tax perspective it's, it's worth its you know price and whatever you're going to pay for this now you're only going to have to pay some red bronze it is a lot of red bronze it's 500 red bronze plus three pink sticky gears and three blue sticky gears. I'm going to show you the recipe right now. So, and the other thing is you can only um, craft it from a tier four workbench. What does that mean? Well, you got to have one of these or you need to borrow one from someone else. So the nice thing about this though, is you don't actually need any of this oil stuff, any of these crap. You don't need any of the new stuff here. If you just want these vending machines, you can pretty much just go and buy these, or you can go and borrow a tier four workbench from a published island. So that's a nice shortcut. If you don't have enough money to be able to make one of these, but you have enough to craft one of these, just go to uh, you know, a published island and find a tier four and just borrow that. If, especially if you have all these materials, you don't even need to have, you don't need to build your own tier four workbench, right? So you can see right here, you, you got three pink sticky gears, three blue sticky gears, and 500 red um, bronze ingots. That's a lot, right? That's a ton. So that's going to actually, you know, take, that's going to take a bit for you to get one of these. So the next thing they added is this filter conveyor. I'm so excited about this thing. I'm going to show you where, it, where it's at. It's in here. So if you scroll down, it is a filter conveyor. So it splits one input into two outputs based on a filter. Okay. So I'm going to get one of these. We're going to make it be an output put it like right here and we're gonna put some random stuff in it okay we're gonna put in some steel we're gonna put in some iron we're gonna put some um coal and maybe we'll put in some we'll put in some copper and some gold lots and lots of stuff right we got a lot of things in this thing all right and then we're gonna take that filter and we're going to set it up make sure we got the input correctly there we go so the white little arrow is always going to be on the outside and then we're going to actually put some conveyors here let's go ahead and get this out of the way we don't need this anymore all right so we're going to put some chests right here and a chest right here and then we're going to put one right here right so basically how this is going to work we're going to filter these we got two sides of filters which is really cool and then the third is everything else so you can filter two you can filter up to four different items but you only get two outputs and then everything else goes here so anything that's not in your filter is going to go here i'm going to show what that means so you click on configure and I just, you know, we already know we got some um, ingots, right? So let's go ahead and do, um, we're going to put copper. So you click on whatever you're wanting to put in there inside the filter. And I'm going to say, I want anything copper is going to go on the left. 
And then I wanna also say that anything gold is gonna go on the left right here. Now it's not actually holding your items. You just need to have an item, whatever you're gonna be doing. You do have to have at least one item to be able to select it. And then I'm gonna say coal, we don't care about because it's junk. Steel, we're gonna go to the right and iron, we're gonna send to the right as well. And what you could do is if you wanna further split this out, so maybe you wanna be very specific, you can set up another filter so you can filter those two things you're sending over here, right? So you can put another filter and just filter things out that way. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this go out and we're gonna watch it in action. So you can see steel is going to the right as it should. Iron's going to the right, so it's going to the right place. And once it's done with the iron, it's gonna do some coal. So the coal is gonna go straight as we'd expect because we don't have a filter for it. So it's going straight because it's not it's not filtered out, right? We didn't tell it to go left or right. So it's just gonna go straight. So if I put anything else in here that's not in these filters, it's just gonna go straight. Hopefully that's clear. It's a really simple system. And then on the left here is copper. So go left, copper is going left. And then gold's gonna go left as well. Because if you remember this diagram, I said left for gold and copper is left. You don't have to put two slots, by the way. If you just want gold to go left and iron to go right and everything to go straight, you could do that 100%. And and we're pretty much done with our filter. So now, you know, like I said, what if I just wanted only gold on the left? Well, in that case, you just get rid of this, click it to get rid of it, or you could just redo it in the same way I just did this. So you say, okay, gold's gonna go left. Actually, we'll put some copper in and we'll put some gold. So you see copper is in here. Copper is not in the filter anymore, so it's just gonna go straight. But you see now gold's going left. So again, the great example, here's an example use case, okay? What if you wanted to smelt multiple things through one smelter and then assign them or filter them a certain way? So for example, I could have, this could be my smelter. I've got a bunch of ore, right? I've got my copper ore and my gold and my iron ore, um, can, uh, totems over here. So I've got iron totems back here, copper ore dropping down, gold ore coming down one, one single, it's just a single smelter and then from there i could say okay iron is going to come this way and make go to my steel farms um gold's going to go this way um and then copper is going this way with it so that we can make a bronze refinery this way so you can use a single filter conveyor using multiple purposes which is really crazy so you can expect some videos on that it's going to be really cool here's the other use case for this what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and we're going to set up an auto farm so we got our lumber mill we got our auto tree planter right this does require some fuel so you're gonna have to fuel it with um petroleum and remember the blade's going to come out where the thickest part is right here the darkest part not over here but the darkest blade if it has four bars it's the wrong side if it's the three bars you got the right side so that's where it's going to cut so if you have your tree planter see the little like the little brackets you want to put that in the same spot that it's going to cut so these these are going to come out right here so you can see when this thing cuts this is going to auto replant the sapling but the thing is this needs saplings in order to be able to do that so how this is going to work is we do need let's go and power this um sapling replanter first let's go and just grab this. this is my petroleum so you do need a petroleum refinery if you're going to do this if you don't know how to do this you can skip this it's just an a little bit more advanced um, and I'm going to do a dedicated video on this anyway. So this is going to be a little bit of duplicate information for you, but I figure I might as well show you now as part of this video, because it's pretty important, especially what's going to, one of the other things that came out with this update. I really want to show you this pretty awesome. Okay. So remember you have to have a full connection before you're going to see any kind of petroleum coming through. And then once you have a full connection, you see it's already powered. It's smoking that, you know, now, you know, it's working. So if I were to put something, if I were to put this here, obviously it's going to plant it as soon as it's ready. So it's queued up, right? So it's going to plant it. So this thing right here requires some powering for it to work as well. You know, you can also use petrified um, petroleum if you want, but don't worry about that if that's confusing still for you. Just do this. This is the old fashioned way. You can kind of get get yourself used to, you know, how things work in the game. And you got coal totem, it feeds into here. And then what's gonna happen is obviously when this thing grows, it's gonna cut it and it's gonna go here. Well, if you remember, this thing actually outputs two things. It, it outputs with the wood and it outputs with the sapling, right? Which is a problem for us because, well, we kind of need the sapling back to here and we want to store the wood. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to bring it back, right? So it's going to go like this. So I'm going to make a left. So let's get a left conveyor here. If I had some extra fast conveyors, I would use those. But let's use, I'll just use some straight ones. There we go. So what's going to happen is the wood's going to come out. The sapling's going to come out. And with the wood, what we're going to do is for the wood, we're just going to put it right here. And then this is just going to be everything else. We don't need to worry about this because nothing's going to come out of here because we're going to filter everything. And then we can kind of come back around. So let's go straight because it's gonna be where we're gonna pipe our sapling back to the sapling replanter like this, just like this, right? Very simple. So I know I'm saying it's simple and it might not be to you, but it is, trust me, you'll, you'll see soon. Now this thing might have some problems with um, growing because the sap, the spear saplings are a big pain. If that's the case, you might have to do something else with this. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna swap this out to oak just for this example. Cause spear trees are kind of weird. They're a little bit fussy because they need the right amount of space and all that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna plant that right there. So we got the oak in the plus they they grow really fast so what's going to happen is this is going to cut it that's going to put the wood here now what we need to do is we need to make sure we filter these so let's get our saplings we just put that here we're going to select the you know oak sapling so it's going to go left right it's going to come back to the, the sapling auto replanter 
And then on the right, what we're gonna put is some wood. So we're gonna say the wood's gonna go to the right instead. So basically it's gonna store wood in here. It's gonna put the sapling over here. But what's crazy about this update, we just got something really cool. So check this out. So if you just want wood, you don't really care about making money and you just want the wood, this is perfect. I'm gonna show you what you wanna do if you wanna make money off your wood. See how it just moved the sapling out? Now the sapling looks like it's stuck. Hopefully it's gonna get unstuck, but it looks like the sapling is stuck on the conveyor. It does not like the turns. There we go. It just doesn't like that turn. You might have better luck with the faster conveyor for that. I might have to use an upgraded conveyor and it's stuck on another turn right here. There we go. So it's going to go in there. It's going to replant it. There it is. So it auto replants. The thing is, I don't know why the, the saplings are getting stuck in the corners. Like I said, you might have to use an upgraded conveyor, like a tier two conveyor for this, for it to work because otherwise it's going to get stuck. I'll talk to the devs to see if they can actually fix that. But next up, we got this new pallet package. So check this out. So I'm going to put this tier four down. I'm going to show you something we just got. So this is this takes it to a whole different level for your farming, So you're, especially for your wood farms. So going to the you know workbench here, we actually got this new item called pallet packer. And so what this does is it packs a hundred planks to a pallet and you can then sell that pallet just similar to crates, but you can sell that pallet to Dom inside the hub. So it does require, you know, to make one of these, it's pretty cheap. It only requires three pink sticky gears, 10 steel rods and 30 wood. If you remember pink sticky gears are so much easier now because you can go and kill the king slime and sometimes he gives you pink sticky gears. So what do we do to do this? Well, we do need an industrial sawmill, right? So going here, if we're going to do this, we're going to get a sawmill and and of course we do need some fuel. So we're gonna wanna fuel this. You could actually use petrified petroleum, like I said, or just don't, you know, just use a cold totem, which is what we're gonna use. So there's our cold totem. And then um, let's get our pallet packer. This does not require petroleum, by the way. It's totally optional too. You see right here, it's gonna, once it fills up to 100, um, we wanna make sure we do it the right one. We wanna make sure we got the right one selected, which is oak. So may, similar to a food processor, you wanna make sure you have the correct one set up. And then you set up an in and out chest right there. So that way you can get your crates. So you can see it's doing, it's got 12 so far and it's gonna keep going, right? Ideally, you can see I'm having some oak saplings get stuck. Um, I'll mention that the devs, like I said, it should be fixed pretty soon. And of course, if you don't wanna have to wait for your you know, farm over here, you can still you know funnel this so you can actually just feed these to make faster pallets. So each piece of wood here will give you four planks. If you think about that, that makes it really fast for you to be able to get this. You can see I'm already up to 36. It's really fast to get your pallets made. Now, of course, oak pallets aren't that, you know, great. They're going to be a little cheaper on the cheap side. All right, we got one oak pallet. Now, I'm going to show you where you can sell this. So once you get pallets, you can go to the hub. I'm going to put it in my inventory here. So this is what it looks like. Just a wooden pallet. It's pretty basic, right? Come out here and go to Dom. You'll see if you scroll down, you can view shop, scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to see the oak pallet. I just, I can make 300 off that. So when you're autoing this, if you think about how much you can actually make, I mean, check check out the spirit trees. This is crazy. Check out the spirit tree pallets. You can make 5,100 off those. And then hickory, you can make 4,200. That's the second best one. So pretty crazy, pretty awesome. So a great way for us to start making money off of wood finally. And um, it's just convenient too, that we can do this whole cycle. Now, like, you know, I did report that bug to the devs. So, you know, from the sapling perspective, it could be just on mine. You know, it might be just based on some server lag or something, but hopefully we'll get a fix for that soon. And last but not least, the devs actually surprised me something really cool that I'm able to give away. They actually gave me a bunch of DV statues. Check this out. It's crazy. I don't even, I'm still, I'm still speechless. I'm still speechless. This is so cool. So huge thanks to the devs for this awesome, awesome gift. Amazing looking. So they even got my little miniature DV. Look at, they got mini DV in there. It's so cool. So huge, huge shout out and thank you to the devs for this awesome, awesome gift. I give away a bunch during stream. So, you know, I'll, I'll probably give away some more pretty soon. We'll do some activities and stuff on stream if you didn't get one. Now, the other thing I totally forgot to show you is is they actually added fruit crates. Check this out. So there's more crates in here you can sell. So now that you can actually auto farm these, which is crazy cool. Look at, you can actually sell crates of fruits, including lemons, kiwis, oranges. Like they've added so much to this game. Now I have to go back to some of my old builds that I used to have where I really needed that filter. So I'm gonna be, you know, expect to see some updated auto farms. It's gonna be really cool. We can actually do a lot of things, especially with food farms with this. There's so much, there's so much. Oh my gosh. So expect some updates to auto farms pretty soon here. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next vid. Peace.